I had that song on rotation uh, for months after it first came out when mm -hmm. I was in college. Uh, our CBS station in Detroit, WWJ, has been following the story. Radio reporter Charlie Langton is on the phone now. So, Charlie, uh, what more have you learned about the circumstancing, uh, cir circumstances rather surrounding Chris Cornell's death? Yeah, we're following this all the whole morning here. It's big news here in Detroit. But what we know so far, Chris Cornell had just finished a sold-out performance here in Detroit at the Fox Theater. He then went back to his hotel room at the MGM Detroit. Now, a little after midnight, Cornell's wife calls a band member and asks him to do a check on him. When he finds no answer at the door and the door locked, he gets security. Security at the MGM gets into the hotel room, and that's where they find Cornell dead in his bathroom with a band around his neck. It does appear that Cornell took his own life. Now, an autopsy will be scheduled probably today. We're not sure of the time. And Detroit police tell me that they are still investigating this incident. That's what we know so far. You, you mentioned that he performed last night. And he actually tweeted a, a picture out just hours before that performance. Do we know anything about his condition prior to the show? Yes, we actually we talked to a number of people that actually attended the performance at the Fox Theater. It was sold out. Uh, he was apparently in good spirits. He had mentioned Detroit. He said that Detroit audiences over the years have been very good to him. He sounded good from everyone that we've talked to, and there was no indication that he was suffering from anything or depressed or anything. He just simply gave a good show last night. And people who knew Chris Cornell, what are they saying about him today? I mean, this is a man who, for a generation of people in this country and around the world, uh, meant so much. Well, obviously, the people that knew him here, he had been to Detroit a number of times. Obviously, a very good writer, very good singer, Soundgarden, obviously very good. People excited about perhaps a new album coming out of some kind. Um, even the Higher Ground CD, which I got. I'm a fan, too. I love that one. Uh, so it's very, very sad. And, of course, when it happens here in Detroit, I mean, we are very, uh, you know, we, we love the MGM. We love the Fox Theater. It's a great place for a concert venue. We like to have big acts come here. And so when we hear that this happened, uh, it, just, it just saddens all of us here. Here in Detroit and obviously around the country and around the world. Uh, I want to just, I mean, we've been flashing, as you see on the bottom tweets. of our screen there, tweets mm -hmm. from uh, other folks, rock and roll stars. I mean, the legendary, no less than the legendary Jimmy Page tweeted, rest in peace, Chris Cornell, incredibly talented, incredibly young, incredibly missed. Charlie Langdon from uh, WWJ in Detroit. Thank you so much, Charlie. Thank you.